Hey, 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 scholars. This is Dr. J, and you know I have something to say. I stopped by to just give you an update on this week's lesson. <clears throat> so we're talking about Articles of Confederation as well as the U.S. Constitution. So I have some notes here for both. So I need to remind you that the Articles of Confederation um, came into existence November the 5th, 1777. Um, it created a sovereign nation, but a weak central government. Our current U.S. Constitution replaced the Articles of Confederation, which was really the first uh, Constitution. So the Articles of Confederation was the first U.S. Constitution. But it needed to be replaced because it had several problems. One of the problem was they didn't have the power to tax. They couldn't, they didn't have any money. They couldn't afford an army. Right after the war, you had Shays Rebellion. Uh, you had people who had served the government rebel because the government couldn't afford to pay them. So that was one problem, the, the, uh, the power to tax. They lacked a strong executive government. Um, they didn't want a king or a queen. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why they left out the executive seat, but they still needed someone to enforce all of the laws of the nation. They also found out that all of the states had the same power. Think about it. New York is bigger than Mississippi. California is bigger than Mississippi. So now in today's U.S. Constitution, I think uh, California has 57 representatives. It's based on your population. Uh, as opposed to everybody just having one vote. Um, and then each state had their own money. So is you need to be able to articulate why, um, why the Articles of Confederation were defective or what are the defects of the Articles of Confederation. And so we move on to the constitu Constitution. Let me also say this. The first Constitution only lasted 10 years. So we had the Article of Confederation for 10 years. And the U.S. Constitution replaced the Articles of Confederation. So we have Constitution Day, which we celebrate on September the 17th every year. So the U.S. Constitution has seven articles and 27 amendments. Each article uh, addresses a specific issue. For instance, Article 1 uh, addresses the legislative branch. Article 2 tells you about the executive branch. Article 3 tells you about the judicial branch. Those are the three branches of government that... Uh, run this nation. Article 4 uh, gives you the guidelines on how the state will interact with the federal government. Article 5 tells you about how you can amend the U.S. Constitution. Article 6 addresses debts, um, who has the supreme power, and the oath that each officer must take in order to serve uh, in the government. <clears throat> and number seven is the ratification. It just lists the 13 states that actually signed this constitution. So it's important for you to read all seven articles, especially the first three. Um, some of the questions that we're going to be discussing and some of the test questions that you need to know, like how old do you have to be to be a U.S. representative? How old do you have to be to be president? How old do you have to be um, to run for Congress? Uh, how long do you have to be a resident of the state in order to run for any of these offices? Um, you need to know there are 100 senators. There are 435, um, representatives. Together, the 
senators and the representative make up Congress. Um, and that's a total number of 535. <clears throat> and you know majority rules. Again, there are 100 senators. In order to get the majority of votes, how many votes do you need? 50 plus 1. Exactly. And so <clears throat> I just need you to really understand how um, the U.S. Constitution works and what the purpose of it. It sets up um, our central or federal government. Uh, it is the supreme law of the land. No other uh, document have as much power as the U.S. Constitution. Um, so make sure you read the U.S. Constitution. Make sure you understand what is the purpose of the U.S. Constitution and make sure you know the defects of the Articles of Confederation. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I gave you an overview of this week's lesson. Now, once you submit your assignment for week one, you can move on to week two. Thank you.